Oh boy. We're we're live, dude. Oh yeah. Oh my god. It worked, huh? Holy oh shit, god. dude. I, yeah, I, I did nice. That. It worked. Do you got my do you got my video on? No? Video? No. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, there we oh, go. Damn, there right. oh, 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 it's the future. It's the future. One second. Are we on now? Are we like live on? Yeah, we yeah. be live. Like, like we're live, like is it actually happening or it's or, happening, dude. This it's happening before the show? Is this huh? before the show? Like like is this, <laughs> is this that moment? It's up to you. You know, dude. That, mo- you know the moment where like you call into a show and you're just okay, we're gonna start now, and then that part's not in the show later. Is that this part or is yeah. it actually the show? Like, this is the show. This <laughs> yeah. is the show. Oh, hey guys, how are you? Good, how you doing, man? Well good to be here. Yeah, thanks for having me on. I'm just uh well, you know, I'm I'm uh how am I doing? Let me just really think about that for a second, because that's a question. That's also normally one of those questions on on phone and radio shows and stuff. How you doing? And it's like, yeah, pretty good. And then you start talking. But mm-hmm. I'm actually going to think about that for a second because I'm not really sure how I'm doing, to be honest with you. Because I haven't left my house in uh, uh, a week, and I'm pretty uh, <laughs> I'm pretty worried about the the pandemic that's going on. I'm a little worried about that. How are you, Shane? Good to see you, man. I'm good, man. I'm I'm <laughs> not too worried. I'm out here traveling. <laughs> yeah, you're not worried. Yeah, I thought maybe that might be the case. Uh, <laughs> judging by the uh, the campfire on the beach that I saw, and, uh, <laughs> you know the, the 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 government puts out a stay at home, do not go outside order, do not go to the beach, and you go light a campfire. <laughs> <laughs> Look, look, it's very, very secluded. Yeah. I'm staying away. I'm not talking to anybody. I'm not touching anybody. We're very secluded. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's good. I mean, you're not you're not you're not in the epicenter right now. You're out in uh you're out in yeah. where are you? South in, Carolina? Yeah, I'm in South Carolina, just fucking around. Yeah, this is this is crazy. Uh you know, I'm in Los Angeles at home and uh um you know it's uh it's one of those things where I'm taking this pretty seriously because uh, I've been I've been reading everything on the internet. I've been reading everything. Like mm, I've been reading yeah. everything. Like everything I've been reading. And so if you read everything on the internet, uh, you know, one day you can be feeling like, oh, it's just a flu, no big deal. Exactly. Exactly. And then, and then the next day, the next day, you're terrified. But the more I read, the more I realize that we're 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 supposed to be terrified right now. This is not just the flu. And uh, I've been, um, you know, three days before the um, before the whole thing went down, uh, where they told everybody to not leave their houses. Uh, no, sorry, three weeks before. Did I say three, three weeks before? I stocked up my uh, my pantry with um, you know my my kitchen. Let, let me use the word pantry, so I, so I sound really Canadian, you know. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so I got some uh, sardines here. Um, I'm not Ooh. sure how much of the I'm not sure how much of the video portion of this gets used on the uh, on the show. We're gonna use it. We'll, we'll, yeah, it so, so I've got sardines. So sar- sartine, sardines are a high source of protein, which is good. Um, I'm not sure if I should I'm not sure if I should be showing off my sardines because when the looting starts, this is the first place they're gonna come for my delicious sardines. But um, you know, you, you have weapons. You need to have, uh, yeah, you, you know, I, I, don't, I don't, I don't like talking about all that kind of stuff. But let's okay. just say I'm, I'm, I'm ready for anything up here. Fuck yeah! Um, <laughs> yes, we've got, a, yes. we've got, a, we've got uh, collard greens, uh, nice. which is, um, Yo, chill, uh, you know, chill, chill. Good, yeah, we've got some chili, got some chili here. Um, it's good to have lots of non-perishable items. Rice is important to have. Rice, lots of rice. I. Yep. Um, I didn't, I was worried I was going to run out of rice if this thing goes on for a couple of years. So I, um, oh, I no. ordered, I ordered a 10 pound bag of rice on uh, Amazon <laughs> the other day. And, um, and, uh, and, 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 uh, the thing that's interesting is I, I actually have never used Amazon until this whole thing started, which is weird. Mm. Um, uh, I'm not a boomer. I'm a generation X. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not so a boomer. Are you going to eat what? What are you going to do with all the canned goods if this turns out to just be the flu? Are you going to eat those sardines? No, it's not the flu. It's not the flu. Okay. Um, Doctor Tom Green, are you sure it's not the flu? <laughs> yeah, I know. Yes, I am 100 percent sure now. And I think Good. it's important. I, I think it's important to convey that to uh, to our, our our friends and followers and fans on social media because at the end of the day, um, when this is all over. 
you know, you want your, uh, your fans and followers and friends to, uh, to do well, you know, and we don't want them to, to get sick. And so, so there's some things I'm trying to not kind of joke around about, you know, because uh, I actually do really, I'm really kind of feeling uh, worried about everybody in, 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 uh, in this country and Canada and around the world right now. So, yeah, but uh, not to bring the mood down. Or sure anything. not. Yeah. Really. <laughs> not trying to bring the mood down, but, uh, you know, sometimes I think if you sort of base you know, these conversations on a foundation of seriousness, it actually kind of raises the level of, uh, of uh, you know, of, uh, you know uh, attention that people might be given to what we're talking about here. So back to the sardines. But um, no, it's, I'll tell you uh, what. It's, it's, yeah. No, I agree. I agree. And it's, I was, I was telling Matt yesterday, like, I'm usually, like I, I wake up scared of it and then I'm scared all day and then yeah. I start drink- and then I'll start drinking and I'm like, ah, fuck it. I'm untouchable. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and yeah. then uh, I wake up in the morning hung over like I did today and I read about how you have to like lay on your stomach for a week at a time. So to not lay on your, your lungs and they just pump oxygen into you yeah. for weeks until you either die or get better. Yeah. Yeah, not and then only we're gonna run not, out of beds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and not only is that horrible, but like even if you don't really get those kind of symptoms yourself, um, you know, the older people and people that are compromised, yeah. you know, we we don't want to be spreading that around. So I'm actually looking at it as a, a sort of a, I mean, if I'm gonna put any sort of layer of optimism on it, I'm looking at it as kind of a, a, a strange sort of unfortunate opportunity to be able to just stay home and uh, play on my computer all day, you know? What do you got going on your comp? Well, you know, I've I've got, I do a lot of, uh, I make hip hop beats, basically. Nice. Oh, that's right. I I make dope, uh, dope hip hop beats. And, uh, and I've been uh, recording my podcast as well. So I I, I launched a podcast. I relaunched my podcast uh, last week and I'm doing one every day and I'm uh, taking calls and, uh, talking about the uh, the pandemic that we're going through right now so it's weird though do you guys do you guys find that um that it's sort of like uh you you kind of can't believe that it's happening a little bit oh totally like yeah i mean we we know it's happening but then you can't believe it i think it's like depending on how much you really believe that it's going to be you know, Stephen King's The Stand, basically. Have you seen that movie or, or mm-hmm. read the book? The I read Stand. the book, yeah. Yeah, where everybody basically, in, it, it's, it's, it, it sort of feels a bit like that to me. Like, I think that you know, my head takes me to this place where I'm prepared for that. Like, I have, a, I have enough food here <laughs> probably to last me. I have enough food to last me for a month. But um, I, got, I started getting nervous and realizing that like, that's not uh, going to be enough to get through this. So I ordered this 10 pound bag of rice on Amazon. Uh, so I could probably <laughs> last a year. If you have, if you have rice, beans and corn, that is a completely uh, uh, balanced diet. You could live off that alone. So I'm going to, I'm going to try to get about a year's supply of, of food. I'm going to put in the, in back in the garage, just in case this thing really drags on. But the thing that's interesting, Shane, the thing that yeah, I, uh, fucking, this rules, by the way, I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah, that, I was like, what the fuck are we going to talk about? I got to add, I'm like, mm-hmm. in my head, I was, I was eating Cheerios this morning. Like, I wonder if he ever hung out with Fred Durst. Oh yeah. 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 I know Fred. <laughs> yeah, Fred's, Fred's great. Fred, uh, Fred, Fred actually, uh, uh, left a comment on, uh, um, one of my uh, posts that I made on my Instagram last night about a, 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 a hip hop track that I'm working on. Oh, so that was sick. Really cool. That'd be yeah, fucking awesome. He, he, he said, butter so he, he thinks it's like butter <laughs> yeah so um which is cool but um no the All thing right, yeah, is because i've never no it's okay it's okay uh, the thing is i because i've never really ordered off instagram before and now i'm starting to get these packages are starting to arrive it's exciting it's, it's kind fun. of like it's kind of like i'm waiting for christmas every day are you worried um, they're I, contaminated i am i don't so this is the process so <laughs> Uh, no, I am. No, and that's a that's a very real thing, by the way. You yeah, no, no, no. I'm I'm, I'm laughing for like forty eight asked. hours. Yeah, yeah. You order this shit, but then you can never use it. You just leave it out there on the porch. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I uh, well, one of the things I realized is I didn't have enough cleansers, so I didn't have enough Clorox and 
and uh, rubber gloves and all the things that you need to decontaminate stuff. So then I get in sort of a catch-22 situation because <laughs> I've ordered the rubber gloves, but I don't have rubber gloves. So how do I get the rubber gloves out of the rubber glove packaging without the rubber gloves? You see? You see what happened? <laughs> so I, uh, so I, I just sort of basically picked it up with some, like, tongs, and I put it in the garage, and it's just sitting in the garage for a, for a, for a few days until I can get access to the, to the cleansers that I got. I've got a little cleanser left, so got a little bit of cleanser left Dude, and actually you are a hundred percent gonna survive <laughs> yeah oh yeah my first order of cleanser by the way i don't i i, I look i'm gonna because because you guys are my friends and uh you know i i want i want your uh you know your listeners to uh have all the information this right here is the shit man this right here okay you can drink your product yeah this right here man yeah no yeah, you it's can not just it. No, it's not just because it's uh, my name, but it's, it's because, uh, it's, it, and I'm, this is not an official endorsement or anything like that, but this shit, man, is uh, the stuff that kills the, um, the virus. This does. More so than Lysol, that is the best stuff. Uh, Do you I read think that. our listeners should just take a shot of that if they don't feel good? You know, uh, my friend really, drank it one time. It, it, like, like, if you feel. <laughs> really 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 bad <laughs> yeah you need a, a way out <laughs> and take a shot of it yeah <laughs> damn dude but you know um no i i i uh, i'm cleaning the the packaging and um and then i'm letting it sit for two days and then i'm getting into it I, fortunately i don't need anything right now the supplies that i have coming right now are essentially restock for a month from now when i start to running out running out of my uh initial emerg emergency supplies so but um I don't know. I think maybe you got this dialed in the right way, Shane. I, I think just sitting down in North Carolina or South Carolina and drinking on the beach, I think that's probably a better way to go than all this bullshit. I'm going yeah, to. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. I, I mean, either way, I'm definitely taking precautions. And it's funny how much it, like, definitely uh, is in my head. Like, I have, like, for some reason, I've been having very anxiety-ridden dreams. Yeah, and, like, we're in a pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be watching. I'll be watching movies. Matt has it, by the way. Matt's been coughing a lot. No, my whole everyone in my house had it. Refuses my, to get tested. My daughter got swabbed. She has a metanoma virus. It's a cold. We all we all got okay. a close call. All right. Well, yeah. We have like number safe. four in the totem pole of diseases right now. We're good though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you isolating? Are you taking your daughter and putting her in a room for two months and just you know tossing tossing granola bars into her? And <laughs> no, we all we all have it. So we're all asking all how she's. Yeah. Okay. Well, be be, be be careful and, and and monitor that. Have you checked for a uh, uh, fever? Uh, mm -hmm. Is it a dry cough? <laughs> nope. He broke his fever. Very he productive cough. I a hot, fever myself. He took a hot bath. I took a hot bath yeah. and got myself up to 100 degrees and definitely killed whatever I had. So. Okay, that's Tom's, good. You take Tom's the hair dryer. You blow the hair. You blow the hair dryer up your nose too, like <laughs> the way the congressman said. Oh, this is how you get rid of the coronavirus. You just blow a hair dryer up your nose. Everyone says, "Oh, that's great." That's some like some like city council. Uh, a politician said that. Yeah, yeah. He said you just blow a hair dryer up your nose and it's over. Go back to work. <laughs> um, but. What if but, he's uh, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean. It's, it's Taiwan, possible. they said take a sip of water every 15 minutes and you'll wash it down to your stomach where the stomach will destroy it. I heard oh, that okay. too. I, would I honestly Bush, heard that. I would think Bushmills would do a better job, really. Do you think that? I think take a sip, uh, of, yeah, that every, yeah. take a sip of that every 15 minutes. And then you're, <laughs> take a shot. <laughs> you're killing it. In terms of hand-to-hand um, -hand combat, what are you prepared to do? You know, I, I, I'll, okay, I'll, I'll, ta I'll tell you uh, what, I, what I usually do in that situation. Um, I'm a very fast runner, so uh, I usually run in the opposite direction of anything like that, and that's pretty much the, the, the intention. Uh, you run from I, the sardines? I run, someone, well... Someone's I, coming I, in saying, Tom, where the fuck are the sardines at? You got to stand your it, ground. You're let, back into just, a corner. You're back into a corner. No, no, because I have a bug out bag. Uh, uh, I have a, I have a bag of, of, of a bug out bag full of sardines, <laughs> and and also uh, to, 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 if you, if you want to talk about, I, I I actually have, I'd say I have a healthy supply of uh, of uh, of food in the trunk of my car as well. So I'm I'm ready to just Jesus jet. Christ, dude. I'm 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 ready to jet, and uh, you know, uh, so I I, I I advise this to anybody. Uh, who is, you know, concerned about 
burglaries or any of this sort of thing. You know, I grew up in Canada, right? So in Canada, it's, um, you know, there's not as much as far as, you know, guns and stuff like that up in Canada. So I, I find down here in the U.S., like, people are so ready to confront, like, danger. Like, if, if they say, yeah, oh, yeah, you know, like, you go to a gun store and they say, you know, oh, you know, you want a shotgun, you know, because, uh, you know, if someone breaks into the house, all you need to do is, and they hear that through the door and then they go running, you know? And so it's like this idea of confrontation, you know, like- In Canada, just, what do you do? On the other side of the door, you're just like, hey, beat it, bud. Yeah. <laughs> and they say, no, here, I want those sardines, hey, bud. <laughs> what the hell are you doing with my sardines there, bud? Get the hell out of here, eh? Um, yeah, pretty much. Um, and also the person- Sorry breaking, to cut off you. <laughs> well, the person br- in, in Canada, the person breaking into your house doesn't have a gun. So then you just, you know, it's a little, a little bit of a different kind of uh, equation, but here. Well, tell you know, that you, to OJ's wife. Yeah. 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 It still yeah. can be a negative experience. Yeah, no, for sure. I, 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 I go back to what I sort of started with. So retreat, Sorry. I think retreat. <laughs> retreat. Yeah. No, I r- run. So I always like to, I always like to say, uh, have two <laughs> exits from the place that you're sleeping Two two doors. So if you're sleeping in your bedroom, you should have a door, of course. You need a door to get in, first of all. A door to, to the house, to the main house. And then if you are on the ground floor, a door that goes to the outside. If you're on an upstairs floor, the door to the outside, to the balcony or the window, have a rope ladder so you can get out the other way. So if you cool. hear commotion, right, if you hear somebody in your house, the, the response is not, hey, who the hell is there? And now you're in a gunfight. Right. You're not going to win in a, you're not going to win in a fucking gunfight. I'm sorry. Like, yeah, that's great. You, I, I got, I hit him in the shoulder. You know, you know, he, he shot. And now my, now my jaw is hanging from my face, you know, but yeah, I, sh- I showed him, you know, so, so I, love, I, uh, I love the idea that like the dish, the dishwasher turning on at night and Tom hitting a fucking rope ladder out of his house. Oh yeah. Rope ladder. I get the fuck out. You know, what about trap? my, uh, I don't, I don't, I haven't taken it to that level. I mean, to be honest with you, I have a, I have a, I have a lot of things though in place here that, that uh, I don't really want to go into detail on. So you're going but, like you know, Home Alone style on this. You're going to set up a, like Legos by the windows. Yeah, you have bowling, <laughs> bowling balls. Bowling balls on ropes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When you walk through the front door. Yeah, you know, I'm, and, you know, I'm a, and, uh, but I'm, 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 I'm uh, I'll tell you on another subject though, uh, you know, I, I live, I live here sort of, Los Angeles. So I've been seeing uh, increased military uh, activity uh, in the last three days. Uh, and occasionally I'll see a military helicopter fly by, but um, not regularly. Uh, in the last three days and increasing yesterday, I've seen, I'm seeing Black Hawk helicopters flying by. I'm seeing Ospreys, you know, those Ospreys the big, yeah. with the big... I'm seeing them fly by all day, every day. They're buzzing my house, and uh, it's definitely a show of force. They're definitely out there trying to show off the the uh, the hardware to the citizens of of this fine city. And I'm I'm kind of thinking that that does indicate to me that that people are, you know, people that know more about this than 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 we do, or than I do, or than all of us do you know, are preparing for, for the worst. And, uh, it's scary. It's pretty scary. Yeah, that is scary. I saw that like videos and shit of like tanks getting brought in through cities on rail and like, it's spooky yeah. stuff. When you see it every day, like flying <laughs> by your house and I'm talking yeah, that's about, when you start stocking up. I understand, you know, and I'm talking, it's flying by like right, right here. Like I'll show you if you want to see some Los Angeles right now. Yeah, this is my, this is my, uh, my house here. Damn, so, Tom. Sick pad. Yeah, right there. They fly right past here every day, right here, and uh, there's my Miss Pac-Man machine, and right here, yeah. <laughs> right there. What kind of choppers right are flying? Every- Double blade. Black Hawk heli- Black Hawk helicopters and Ospreys Damn. every day, right by the house, buzzing the house. And it's uh, it's because they heard about those deans, dude. 
Yeah. The government's what? coming to. They heard about their sardines. The government, (laughs) Uncle Sam's coming to take your deans. Oh, my God. If the the Blackhawk buzzes my house and then the guys rappel down and they say, give me the sardines, (laughs) I mean, I don't care about anything anymore. That's that's a great ending to to everything in my whole experience on this planet. You'll go down like Scarface just with a face full of sardines on your desk. (laughs) Hey, you know what? I wanted to say, uh, of course – uh, you know, I don't want to bury the lead here, but uh, man, one of the the big uh, bummers about this whole thing is the skank face. The skank I know, fest, man. Skank fest got canceled or rescheduled. I mean, I was so looking forward to come to skank fest and hanging out with you guys oh, in Houston. God damn. I mean, we've been talking about this and since, uh, since I met you in New York City last yeah, year. Dude. You know, and then you were nice enough to invite me to that you know we had a good time in new york though you know it was fun and then uh, dude, well you're such a fucking great hang and it's it's crazy because a lot of these dudes like you that are like you know celebrities like you can be real cunts but you're the fucking yeah. man yeah yeah i know i've met all those guys you know they stink yeah i know all those fucking guys <laughs> <laughs> they, really just, they do suck it's crazy yeah but i don't no, really man, know it's... i don't know why people get like that but uh i think people uh Sometimes not everybody's like that, though. I think it's just uh, there are a lot of people like that in general. But but I I, I, I I'm glad that you don't think I'm, uh, you know, that I'm a, a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're the fucking man, you, dude. as you as you put it. But uh, yeah, because like um, yeah, that was going to be fun. I mean, I was really looking forward to just hanging with you guys. And uh, it was, uh, are they going to reschedule it or? or yeah, what? I think. Well, see, they they very. Uh optimistically rescheduled it for september mm-hmm. so i know you're not going to be there the virus well, you'll... well let's see how this goes i mean i really hope that uh that uh that you know we can get i think back they said out. september i could be wrong about that but I it's want, also want... like they were almost lewis was like almost adamant about trying to keep it going and like right when he said like unless the city shuts it down i'm still doing it right after south by southwest canceled and i was talking to him like bro you might want to cancel this thing yeah 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 I, uh, <laughs> this is this is a bad idea right now yeah i mean I, I can imagine it must have been kind of a tough decision because it's one of those things where at first you know you nobody really knew yeah how bad it was going to be and you know you're kind of every day you're thinking okay are we gonna have to cancel this and then all of a sudden it must have become undeniable at some point but but yeah. um yeah, I mean, I, I'm definitely there as soon as uh, as soon as you reschedule it. As long as as long as this pandemic's you know died down, I'm sure, I'm sure they won't be able to do it until it's safe anyway. So so we'll uh, we'll make it happen. Did you uh, last last time I saw you, you had a beard. Did you shave your beard because of the pandemic? Yeah, because the beard. I uh, heard about I that. I haven't shaved my beard in uh, probably about like ten years. Uh, and the last time I shaved it, I I shaved it and then I. I uh, immediately began growing it back. Uh, every once in a while, like every decade or so, I like to just shave it to, you know, kind of air out or whatever. I think once every 10 <laughs> yeah. years. But, but uh, you know, uh, yeah, I, I, it wasn't just because I believe that it's, uh, you know, a, a place that viruses can live, because I don't really think that's necessarily the case. It's just more like I'm, here, I'm home alone. Uh, I was suffering from extreme boredom. Um, this is what's weird about this. Okay, so... <laughs> You know, I'm not married. Uh, I don't have kids. Uh, I am currently, uh, you know, between uh, relationships, meaning I'm not in one. Uh, I'm assuming I'll be in another one one day, so I'm between them. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but, um, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of uh, actually, I wasn't intending to spend, you know, three months in my house by myself. I was. I was <laughs> I was, I was, I was, I was, I was going to go up to Canada and my family's up there and my parents and my brother are up there. Uh, but I thought, well, I'll, I'll, I'll stay in my house for, this will be a few weeks and, you know, I'll do some podcasting. I'll make some hip hop beats and eat some yeah. sardines. But, uh, all of a sudden it, it sort of occurs to me that this is going to be a three month or so ordeal. And, and I'm here for three months in the house by myself and I'm realizing this is this is definitely a unique uh, experience that I'm about to go through here. Um, yeah. I'm not going. I'm not going outside. I really am not. I mean, I'm going outside in my in my deck here, but I'm I'm not I'm not going to the grocery store anymore. I'm done with that. 
uh, you know, uh, the last time I went to the grocery store was about eight days ago. And it was sort of my last scary. Real, uh, t- scary I, I, uh, it was, it was like a military operation. Yeah, you, you know, feel like you're, uh, yeah. is, my friend said he's like, it feels like you're like deep diving in the ocean. Like, we got to get, get what we got and uh-huh. get the fuck out of here. You hold yeah, your breath. Like that, yeah. it's, like that, it's like that grocery store game show where they got to get as much food as fast <laughs> as they can. Except, you know, if you lose, you die. Um, you know, I wore an army jacket. Um, I, uh, I, uh, I, brought, I brought my. <laughs> I kind of hope did, it stays like this forever. I did. Nobody I did actually, uh, breathe around each just, other or touch each other. Just to kind of, yeah. I, I wore an army jacket. I, I usually yeah. have my army jacket on, but this morning I'm just kind of, I'm not quite, you know, fully um, up yet. It's just there waking it is. Up, get, getting ready it's for the It's good day. to dress in military garb and time yeah. to run. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready for anything. I've got Black Hawk helicopters buzzing the house. And, uh, but when I went to the grocery store, I had my Lysol and I had some Purell. Uh, and I went in and I, I sprayed the, uh, the handle of the, of the, um, of the grocery cart with the Lysol, nice. wash it down. And then I, I quickly did what I had to do, but it was, I'll tell you, it was, it was, uh, have you been to a grocery store? Well, it's not, it's yeah. not too crazy where you are right now. So people are probably no. living sort of business as usual out there right now. Uh, but, to some extent they did put out like, uh, like those Lysol wipes by the carts. So right when you take your cart, you just wipe it down. But are so all nice. the, yeah, for sure. Are all the restaurants closed? Is yeah, but everything... they closed late. They closed like three days ago here. So everything is closed now, though. Okay. Yeah. 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 So people know that something is happening in South Carolina. Yeah, and all the toilet paper is gone as well. Yeah. In the grocery I've th- stores. I've got a theory about that as well. See, toilet paper takes up a lot of space on the shelf. It's big. So on the when this this initial... So people say, why is all the toilet paper gone? Or why are people more concerned about wiping their ass than eating, you know? But, and I, I, I realized what it was. As soon as everybody went to the grocery store at once, everybody who went to the grocery store bought one thing of toilet paper in that first week. Toilet paper there is as, as, as you would oh. think, because it's big. So, you know, just a normal amount of toilet paper takes up an entire aisle. So now all of a sudden the aisle is completely empty because everybody just grabbed one roll of toilet paper. This is on the first day. The second day, people go, there's no toilet paper. They see this long empty shelf. Visually on the internet, that looks scary. A huge empty shelf. There's no toilet paper. So now everyone says, you have to get toilet paper. You have to get toilet paper. (laughs) On the internet, you have to get toilet paper. So now there's a run on something. There never really had to be a run on. And now we're uh, never going to have any toilet paper again. I don't know. Is there, is, I, don't, I don't know for, I have, I have, a, I have enough for, for a little while, but I do need to get some more of that. So I don't know how I'm going to do that. I don't know how I'm going to do that. what you do. Every once in a while, if you can tell it's a clean dump, just hop in the shower, Tom. Yep. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Save that, that toilet paper. Wipe your ass in the shower. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Or you could actually just, just take a shit in the shower, too. Just, just save the. <laughs> Not a bad just, idea. Just mash just it right down, there, dude. You know, just do it right, right there through the, the meat grater. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Are you, uh, listen, uh, you know, I, 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 are you, are you feeling any sense of, um, I mean, I'm sure you are, I am as standups, we get up on stage every night. Yeah, it sucks. Isn't it weird to not be able to get that out of your system every night? Yeah, that was so, kind of my entire self-worth. Yeah. So now, yeah. And, and it's sort of um, just physically and emotionally, you get uh, a daily physical adrenaline rush from it. Yeah. You get an emotional catharsis from it. And now with that absent in our lives, it's got to be uh, strange. What's, how, are you, how are you feeling with that? How are you, what are you replacing that with? Uh, uh, and, uh, drinking and... Uh, yeah. <laughs> no uh <laughs> podcasting podcasting helps um yeah for sure yeah that's the thing like that's why i started doing my podcast again I, I, every day I, I want you to come on the pod call into the yeah. podcast this week yeah um, i'd be happy to yeah it'd be great um i uh today i just posted uh, uh andrew dice clay actually so who's yeah. a good friend of mine I'm, and you know dice so he he uh he's He's up uh, every day. I've actually, today, yeah, that was yesterday. Today, I put up uh, uh, one of the founders of the Bare Naked Ladies, Stephen Page. 
Uh, I had Chris Angel on this week. Yes. Uh, Dr. Drew called in and we talked about, uh, you know, medical, medical uh, uh, sort of out, out, uh, outlook of, 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 the, of this uh, sort of a, he sort of dissected what's going on a little bit for me. Dr. Drew made me feel better about things, but uh, I, 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 I worry that, um, that I still worry that it might not be as, uh, as, as, as easy as, as he made it sound to me. So, you know, I, I, I do want to have Dr. Drew to call back onto the show because he's a friend of mine. I kind of want to ask him some more he was, follow-up wasn't questions. He like, wasn't he early on kind of like a bit of a, he was saying we, everybody was being kind of alarmists about this? Yeah, I think a lot of people have been doing that in the beginning, and I think we're still in the beginning, and I yeah. think people are starting to realize that maybe this is worse than, than the flu. Um, there's, <laughs> there's definitely a strong contingency of people online who, who debate that, and uh, I understand that. You, know, you can read anything and you can believe anything you want, and, and people today on the internet, myself included, like to question authority and like to question the rules and it's fun reading conspiracy theories and hell some of them might be true but i look at it like this if you're going to be wrong about something don't be wrong about this one you, know, you can't really <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah you know decide hey, it's just the flu i'm going to go out and live my normal life you can't take my freedom away I'm going to do whatever the fuck yeah. I want. And then, oops, I was wrong, dead, you know? I'd rather be, I'd rather, I'd rather be overprepared and have, uh, you know, too, too much rice, too many cans of sardines <laughs> and realize I, I overreacted. And then the big, the big, you know, downside of that is I've got, you know, I'm eating tuna and, and out of a can for the next, you know, six years or whatever. But, uh, <laughs> So, so I'm just saying, uh, I think it's probably better in this one just to kind of err on the side of caution and just, uh, just to assume that maybe, uh, what they're saying is actually right. Yeah. I think yeah, it so. It would suck to be wrong. It would suck to be like, yeah. fuck that. And then die. I know. Well, that's the thing. It wasn't like, worth it. It wasn't worth it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, dude, if I took this thing lightly, I would just go, I would go home to my family yeah. Yeah. and just kill them all. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. just exactly. My parents like my are parents, yeah. in their seventies. Uh, they're isolated up at their place. In and I Canada. can't, you know, Tom, give me some advice here. I'm down. I'm at the beach. I'm just renting houses for like weeks or two at a time. That's but I don't nice. want to. Well, it's gonna. I'm. It's gonna run out soon. But it's like yeah, you're burning through cash there, huh? Yeah. Whatever. Don't okay, you could probably, uh, you probably, you could, I don't you can't know. Go back, it's either this or go back to fucking my dude, shitty apartment. They couldn't in New evict York City. you. They can't evict you right now. Well, I bet they can bunker down, I mean, dude. Do you, do you, I mean, not, not to, not, I'm not, I'm sort of, I'm not joking. I'm sort of kidding around. Cause I don't expect that you will take this advice, but maybe you would. Do you like camping? Do you like camping? Not that much. Yeah, yeah. If you like, if, <laughs> you, if, you think you're going if, in the woods for a while? Uh, you know, if, if you really like camping, you could go get a really nice tent. You can get for like the cost of renting a house for one day. You could probably go get the nicest, most luxurious hipster tent, doomsday yeah. tent, and you could go out to you know the Ozarks or something and set up this beautiful tent and have a you know, the trunk of your car full of supplies. You could probably just kick back there for, uh, until this whole thing's over. You know, I, could, I, could get a, I get a cabin in, uh, like Montana, like a small shed and start mailing bombs. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I wouldn't joke around about that though. You know, <laughs> they'll, 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 they'll come, they'll come and they'll come and get you just for, just for kidding around about that. I was watching the Ted Kaczynski, uh, yeah, don't, don't do Maybe clarify that you're just joking, uh, right? About real the bombs? quick. Yeah, yeah. Or, or maybe Not even mailing edit that. pipe bombs. Yeah, or, or el elder statesman here. Maybe even just edit that part out, Shane. I don't know. I would, I would. Um, just, you can just Josh about bombs if, as long as you're not on an airplane. You can Josh, about to Josh about bombs. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I get nervous about these sorts of things. Uh, you know, <laughs> joking about these, uh, these these types of things. <laughs> but, yeah, um, yeah. Like mailing, but, mailing uh, powder and stuff. Yeah, you know, I just, I just think, you know, I'd, you know, I'd, 
<laughs> I'd rather joke about sardines. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> you, I mean, you got helicopters around you. I'd be, yeah, I wouldn't be running my app if yeah, I. Yeah, I would talk. Shit. I would <laughs> not be talking like, shit. Yeah, dude. yeah. No, I, I just want, I just want you to be careful because you know during times like this, people, uh, people do react strongly to to that kind of stuff. I wouldn't want you guys to get, you know, uh, in trouble. Bomb talk. Thanks, man. Yeah. No, yeah, I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. No, I mean, I'm, I, I really am making an effort right now, and I think we all should to really look out for our friends. You know, I, I, I don't, I, I, I'm on the phone all day with my friends, you know, cause I, cause I can't hang out with my friends and, uh, I have no social experience other than doing my podcast and doing this and calling my friends on the phone. And so I, I, I get on the phone. I, I, I talk to my friends every day for a couple hours in the evening and, uh, kind of talk about serious stuff, you know, like what we're doing to, like you said, you know, make sure that we know how to get our stuff into the house without getting sick or, or, uh, Make, you know, there's there's a lot of weird little rules to this. You know, the the, the virus can live on uh, cardboard for 24 hours, plastic for two days, and stainless steel for three days, supposedly. But then I hear, then I hear that they just found on one of those Princess Cruise lines, they found living virus on the boat that has been there for 17 days. So I don't know if this is internet. Mm. Uh, fear mongering, but uh, it's 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 got me nervous. I don't really want to touch anything. So, how, how do you think this is going to? And we have three minutes left because Zoom what, with three people, unless you upgrade, boots you out after uh, like an hour. Okay, this You're is good. good. I mean, this is this is this is good. What, what, let's sum it up here because I here's, you know, here's I, a question. What yeah. do you what do you how do you think this is going to affect people mentally, or what do you think this is going to make people change things about themselves after this is all said and done? Yeah, I guess an optimistic outlook would be, and what I really hope happens is I actually think that, uh, I mean, I do think some good good could come from this. I really do think some good could come from this. Uh, you know, we're all locked in our homes and, and thinking about, the, I think people are going to think about the world differently, first of all. You know, like, like this virus was in China a few weeks ago, and now it's here. That, that really makes the world seem like a smaller place to people that aren't used to traveling around the world. I mean, I know with my touring, I've been to China. I was in China, you know, a year ago doing stand up. It's been more than 14 days, but uh, since I was there, but uh, you know, so I know you can get you can get on a plane in the morning and be eating lunch in Shanghai the next day. A lot of people, I don't think like that. So I don't think they think about pollution or uh, the way we think about the healthcare system. It's, it's everything is connected. You drive past homeless people and you see them living in tents on the street. And you think, oh, well, I don't need to worry about them. But now maybe people might start to think we should worry about them. We should look after everybody because they get sick. I'm going to get sick. Everyone's going to get sick. Let's have a healthy society. Let's look after our, our environment and, uh, let's, uh, and let's uh, talk to each other more and look out for each other more. So hopefully that'll be a, a positive result. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, man. Thanks, thanks a lot for doing this, bro. Yeah, really. Yeah, really man. appreciate it. Skank Fest 2020, hopefully not 2021. I can't, <laughs> yeah. I can't, I can't wait to, to come hang out with you guys in person again and do some more stand up up there. Cool, in New man. York with you, Shane. Awesome, man. Hit Thanks you up soon. Thanks a lot for doing this. Yeah, this thank is you. great. Right. Appreciate Peace. You. Thanks, awesome. everyone. Bye.